Okay guys, in this video, I wanna walk through really quickly the user section in business settings in business manager. So there's three options. There's people, partners, and system users. I can tell you right off the bat, you're never gonna use system users most likely. Um, this is really only used for developers of apps uh, that are using Facebook ads. Um, you would be creating essentially a user account to hook into your business manager um, to, to use some sort of a, what's called like an API call back to a server. So you can ignore this option altogether. Under people, this is most likely what you're going to be encountering. So whenever you set up your business account, you're going to by default be the first person listed in there. And then you can see the assets that are assigned or associated with each of these person's accounts. So when you click on each person, you can see uh, right over here, you got like pages. There'll be a section for all the pages associated with that person and then all the ad accounts associated with that person. So most likely for you, for your account, you're gonna have all these assets assigned to you, um, but if you added someone else in, they may only have a subset of your pages or ad accounts in, um, in this list that shows up under here. And then this is where you can also remove someone entirely from your business account. So you could go up here and you could go to remove. Um, you can also edit. If we go into edit here, you're gonna be able to have the option to change uh, their role from admin to employee or vice versa and then finance role you could set them as either a finance editor finance analyst or have no finance role whatsoever i'm going to go ahead and click on cancel here moving along let's go to the partner section partners is similar to people but the difference here is partners is going to be some sort of an entity uh if you're working for, with a marketing agency to run your ads for you um, they'll show up under here. It doesn't have to actually be a partner that's a marketing agency. It could be something like Ad Espresso or Ad Roll or Perfect Audience or something like that where you're leveraging some third-party software to help run your ads. You'd be adding them in here. And then any of the assets that they have access to, you'll see that under Pages and Ad Accounts. And like we saw up above under People, you can go in and click under Remove. Now, since this is an entity, uh, you really only have the option to remove. You don't have to go in, You don't have the option to go in and edit in terms of um, removing finance role uh, uh, privileges or, or adding in those privileges. All right, guys, if you have any other... And now, one other thing that I want to point out to under both partners and people and as well as system users, uh, but we can't see that right now, um, you have this button up here that shows up. It's called Add Assets. So it shows up uh, as Share Assets under uh, Partners, but under People, it's Add Assets. But essentially what you would do is if you click into this option here, it gives you this little window that pops up that gives you the option to share different assets. So either Add Accounts, Catalogs, Apps, or Pages. You can add them in um, to a certain person that doesn't have that access already. So let's just go... Uh, so I'm in, I'm in this second user here. So let's go ahead and click into add assets for this person. And if I didn't have access to an ad account, so I'd click under ad account and then I would select whichever ad account that shows up that that person doesn't have access to. And if you had a bunch of ad accounts, you could use this search and filter at the top up here and just limit it to one. And then you would adjust the ad account privileges that we see over here. And then you just click on save changes. So now this ad account has been assigned to this person. Then we click done. All right, guys. I hope that is helpful in understanding what the user section is. Moving on to the next video.